this could be the last new title screen for all we know. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Yeah, we got a bunch. Oh, I betcha. Those flags at the bottom there are indicators of match play wins. Probably, because remember I had a, a couple of them missing in the middle despite, you know, winning their tournaments and whatnot already. So maybe, maybe that's what they're meaning for. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, we are going in and we are going to do this match. How's that sound? I think it sounds pretty good. I knew it would come to this. Dad's two greatest students meeting on the toughest course golf has to offer. So we're battling him on this course. Perhaps I should do a practice round first, but I don't know. Thought you're going to keep me sh keep shunning me indefinitely. <laughs> Ready? No. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do here, I want to actually put our super curvy, modified, well-worn woods and irons into play. I'll have less distance, but yeah, I've showed you before. Distance doesn't mean much. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So he's not going to shun me indefinitely. He is going to have a match with me at a course I have never played before. <laughs> they put all the tees on the same. That's unusual. <laughs> I've seen courses put like the two back tees together and the two front tees together on some holes, but not all the tees. <laughs> Alright, so he, wow. Got turtles, got a lot of thin fairways. Maybe I should have had my skimming woods after all, but eh, it should be fine. I'll just kind of get myself from fairway to fairway, and we will destroy this course like no one has destroyed this course before, hopefully. <laughs> I think I actually nicked in the tree a little bit there, but eh, we're fine. We're fine. Wait, why is there showing the slope over there? We're not on the green. I don't know. Maybe it matters depending on our, our our foot position now or something like that, and it'll make our ball go in a different direction. If it's like if it's pointing to the left, maybe it'll go to the left. I don't know. I don't know. But it's showing right now as flat. And anyway, I gotta. Get, I mean, yeah, I know I can use the turtle, but well, maybe well, I think the turtle's gonna make me go too far. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess I could give it a shot, I, like literally give it a shot, but still, but still, hopefully this won't overdo it, because I want to get on the green in two and not over the green and into the trees and stuff like that, so, okay. I know there was a lot of wind there, but wow, that was, that was, yeah. <laughs> my own fault, my own fault. I mean, I thought I played enough win there, but I guess not. Uh, looks like he's gonna win this hole. We'll see though, because maybe, just maybe, I can chip it in. Perhaps. We'll see. Boink! Boop! Boop, boop. Eh, not quite. But that's a good approach. I mean, I'm already two strokes back, but, you know, it's too late, but I mean, that was just a good enough approach in general. Nice birdie, man. Nice birdie. Alright, so you get a birdie. <laughs> I mean, you get a medal, and I don't. That's okay. I'm sure you're gonna mess up more than I will by the end of it. <laughs> that was just a flub on the first hole. It can happen. It can happen. Alright, so, you're in the fairway. Nice and easy, nice and simple. I'm probably gonna end up having to play something similar to that. Probably, yeah, let's play over there. It seems like I'll get the most distance since with the least risk out of the shot. There we go. Using the rough and the tree to my advantage. I guess I technically got closer than him because he's up next, maybe? Ooh, okay, this might be where the mistakes start piling up for him, but we'll see. Is that the green over there? Yeah, that is, okay. So I can indeed make the green in two on this par five. So let's go for that, see if I can get an eagle, because that will definitely get me back in the lead if I can. Ooh, I, ooh, I got the rough in between me and the hole. Well, well, we'll see how things go. I could always chip that chip over that with my all-powerful 72 or something. <laughs> but although he's still not on the green, we are, so I could still probably two-putt to victory. 
Yeah, I would say so. Well, let's see what I can do here. Flat slope. I thought that they were saying that the greens were horrendous in this place or something like that. At least so they claimed. I wanna put through the rough, I guess. And hope for the best. E oh! <laughs> What's a monster eagle? Like, what? <laughs> Is it because it's a. I putted it in, eagle? Because it's a long putt, it's a monster putt, and then they combine it with the eagle? I don't know. But there's a mega and there's a monster now. <laughs> I guess. Hmm. That, that little bit of uh, sand in front of the green could cause ire? Hmm. We'll see. Should probably go ahead and do another power shot to get myself into good position on that side of the fairway, just so I don't end up landing it in to the, the trap over there. Is that a really mess with me a lot? And his oh, this is another par five. This is a really long par five, but yeah, and nice shots. But can you do two in a row? We'll see. I don't think you're gonna make the green in two, just like me. But uh, what do you? No, I was gonna say, what? it's like you're aiming into no man's land. But no, no, you had a plan. Ish. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go all the way back over to this nice, chunky patch of fairway here, because I'm not gonna make it in two anyway, so I might as well just advance it to a safe position then and go on the green in the third shot. In theory, I would think. 157 remains. Can you make it? Oh, no, you can't. You must have been buried. Can't tell at the bottom right corner. There's no indicator of your lie. Um, what? You couldn't make the green? And why would... I'm, I'm questioning you being one of his best students now. <laughs> I think Pink put up a better match. <laughs> Alright, so... At least so far, Pink put up a better match. I'm gonna go ahead and hit over there, I think. That should lead to a nice, safe play to the chunkiest portion of the green. Boink! Boink, 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 boink. Yeah, I was gonna say. If that didn't make it on the green, I'd be very surprised. <laughs> and, oh, you're putting. Look at that. Hmm, I don't know if you're really on. Well, I'm, I don't know. Anyway, anyway. Everything's flat again? Are you. You, you can't be serious. Hold on, I don't wanna see. Is everything flat? Because if everything's flat, I'm pretty much gonna make every putt. <laughs> it's just like all, all I need to do is focus on the distance. There's no like secondary impact zone like there is on full swings, you know, going in the air and stuff like that. It's kind of kind of weird if you think about it, because in actual golf, you can indeed mess that up, you know, on your shot by opening or closing the face before impact. It's just a just a video game thing, I guess. Ooh, that might be under hit, actually. As long as it hits the turtle area, there we go. Ha 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 ha! That's pretty close. Oh, what? that sounded like there was. Oh no, wait, that was the turtle going back in the water. Okay, I was gonna say it sounded like it it splashed in the water when it hit the sand, but it was just perfectly timed with it. <laughs> well, that's just how things go in games sometimes. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, you are on in three, I guess. If the slope is continually flat, like all the other greens, if, like everything is showing as such, it should be little to no issue in the matter. I wonder if I should aim to hit the the bottom of the pin, if at all possible. Dunk. Wow, that uh, that wind really cut back on. <laughs> I was gonna say use the pin as a backboard, but the wind really knocked that sucker. What did you just do there? Did you just ch like you had a straight putt to the hole and you did a chip or a hybrid bump and run or something? 
I don't know. I'm all I'm confused. I, all I need to know, though, I guess, is birdies. <laughs> all right, next hole. I guess when we play the tournament, tournament, it's gonna be like we're gonna see the last holes as improvisation, unless I do a practice round on it ahead of time. But I don't know. I haven't been doing much of those, have I? <laughs> I'm just kind of. Playing to the best of my golfing knowledge and ability. Oh, that didn't roll through the rough completely as I thought. Oh no, I might be having trouble here! Well, we'll see. Even if I go one more point back, you know, I'm still... A bunch of heads. <laughs> Three ahead at this point, anyway. Mm, uh, yeah, he's not making it on in two shots himself. You know, it's a par four, so I guess we are okay. I mean, yes, I know I'm always going for birdies, but still, but still, if we're we're about the same, I can just play even, I guess, with him if need be. Whoops! Uh oh, oh, this could be a disaster hole. <laughs> I don't know why it rolled out that much. Maybe it was that yardage randomizer thing again, but still, that seemed like a lot, even for the yardage randomizer. Uh, wait, wait. Back under, actually probably way back, based on uh, the wind direction, because it's I think it's slightly with me at this. No, wait, it's it, no, it is slightly against me at this angle. Okay, so I gotta go somewhere about there, I would say, and over the best. Oh, I nicked a tree. Well, it worked for my targeting reticule, so <laughs> and the wind didn't take it back as much as I thought. Well, we're, we're on the green though, and. Apparently the slope is flat again, so whatever. <laughs> and we're we're in better position once again. I would assume he's gonna make that putt, but so am I if, if, if it's flat. Although you might not, you might decide to hit a hybrid across the green. <laughs> All right. It looks like we're gonna win this match too. That is okay with me. Uh, that's a long par 3, 290 yards, not unheard of, but that is one long par 3, indeed. And I don't, like, they're not typically this long, because most people cannot drive 300 yards. <laughs> that, was a, that was a poor landing area that I had set up there. <laughs> I thought there, was, thought there was more running room there, but it worked out. Gotta... Right, bounce right in between the green and the bunker somehow. It's deep rough combined with Heath, maybe? I don't know, it's hard to tell because you're not really showing the lies. He could be in the water for all I know. <laughs> As we've seen at Oak Manor. Alright, I win another one. <laughs> and that also means that I won the match. <laughs> Sorry! Sorry. Well, well, yeah, it looks like we're gonna check out the other holes later. <laughs> this is the way that I can practice them ahead of time, like maybe off the title screen. I don't know. Congratulations, you've proven to me, yeah, at least, that you belong here. But the tournament is something completely different. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, is it... We're gonna be playing on the same course, we're all gonna be playing our own games. The pressure is much greater. It's gonna be like the geese, if you are able to keep their wits about them. We'll see what happens on the big day. Yes, we will. And I probably should now go ahead and check out... Hello. I was gonna say, I'm gonna go check out this golf, but... This might end up being shorter. How's your up and down game? Probably up and down, right? <laughs> That's been pretty consistent, I think. You can get out of these bunkers. I, I, I accidentally pressed a B. No, I'm not. <laughs> got to see the dialogue. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like these greens are a lot slopier than the greens on the actual course course. So, am I just trying to get inside the circle, or am I just trying to get as many balls, like, put it in after the up and down as put... Okay, it's just getting in the circle. I was going to say, because up and down means to get near the hole and then put it in. Basically, well, well, I don't necessarily have to be in the hole, it's just basically two shots, is, is, yeah, so... 
I, I figured, mm, I'll get nearby, and I'll just kind of plop it on into the hole from there, but no, no, you just gotta get it inside the ring. That's fine by me, I guess, you just gotta stay a little bit more aggressive on my approaches. Uh, no wait, I'm gonna go increase the spin so it doesn't roll out as much. Oh, that might be too much. <laughs> We're gonna see. I guess, ye or maybe, maybe just about right. Hmm. Hmm. Glad I missed it. That. <laughs> uh, no, wait. Actually, I have to go back a little bit. Yeah, um, uh, maybe back a little bit. Wait, wait. What am I doing? What am I doing? Go back a little bit more. There we go. I had the wrong button set there. I mean, I may have played the game for a while, but I'm not a, a veteran of the game. Oh, yeah! <laughs> as I make the chip in, somehow. Uh, I already got enough points, as I, I guess that counted as a 2Z. So, wait, actually, uh, yeah, because I got my super curvy clubs now at the, at the moment. So I suppose I can go ahead and zoink right around that cart. Oh, wow, that really had a curve on the landing. I thought it was... I thought it was going to be a lot straighter on the rollout, but that's okay. We've already won, anyway. Um, this feels very similar to that other shot, only... I got I, I got the... Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's not that different. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> so close. So close. Mm. Wait, no, I'm going to go... A little bit of uh, backspin there, there we go, boink! Yeah, I think the, the main thing that I'm having here, like that I'm missing, is primarily due to the Bunker's 7 yard range randomizer, because you just never know exactly where you're gonna end up landing the ball, and I'm trying to land it in a relatively small circle, which wouldn't be too difficult to land if it was in the fairway or something like that, but since I'm hitting from bunkers at randomizer, it's it's similar eh, it's similar to hitting through the snow. And I thought the, the wind was going to take it a lot more, because I had more, uh, um, got more height on that due to the high lofted wedges, but nope, nope, everything is just, just not really predicting well for my, uh, for my shot making here, but I, I mean I already won early enough, but still, but still, no, that was even quite a bit longer. <laughs> ah, whatever, I mean I know the slope was medium there, but eh, I don't know, bunkers don't mean anything to pros. Some of us actually prefer to play from them. That is true, bunkers can be a whole lot more consistent of a lie than the actual grass that's around the green, at least in real life, but in the game, I don't know about that, I think, <laughs> I, think I would rather get as close to the hole as possible and then do a putt if need be if I'm off the green or something like that. But anyway, it looks like I have uh, cleared out everything except for disc golf, so I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I do some disc golf, which will probably be the whole part, knowing myself. Also, I am how-to basic. <laughs>